being patient, and you wonder how long that patience can hold because out. Because for a long time, they didn't have food or water or electricity. So meanwhile, Japanese officials say the levels of radioactivity at the plant have decreased, but testing is now underway for hundreds of people who live near the facility. Men. There's a heartbreaking scene playing out along Japan's northern coastline. Survivors wandering through the decimated landscape, searching for their missing loved ones. All right, President Obama, of course, is known for keeping his cool, whatever the crisis. But with one of America's biggest allies and... After what he did. ever gets old, does no, it? No, it's nice to see something heartwarming after all of the heartbreak that we've had over the past few days. All right, mean and right now, how does this affect the cloud of radiation leaking from that crippled nuclear power plant? Let's ask meteorologist. And, and we want to hear from you this morning. Uh, what are you worried about? Being worse than it already is. Good morning, everybody. I'm Bill Hemmer as we start a brand new hour. Nice to see you, Allison. Thanks, Good morning Bill. to you. Thanks, Bill. You too. They call those workers the Fukushima 50, and they're being lauded as heroes. It is an extremely tense situation in Japan at this hour. For days, the these heroic workers have worked feverishly to cool the reactors at the complex with seawater, and they are doing it at extreme risk to their own health and safety, but there's no guarantee that their efforts will avoid that dreaded meltdown. Dot com. So you got about a five to 6,000 mile stretch, 6,000 mile stretch from Japan to the west coast of the United States. And you think about Mount St. Helens that blew in 1980. It shot ash into the atmosphere 80,000 feet. Remember the, uh, the volcano in, uh, in Iceland from about a year ago? 30,000 feet. 30, correct, 30,000 feet. That's, we talked about this, <laughs> didn't we? And that halted all air traffic travel between Europe and, and the United States. Yes. Put things on delay for days, if not weeks at a time. It would take a big stretch and a large amount of radiation to catch that jet stream and come from Japan to the United States. And all the experts we talk to right now say, don't worry about it. That's right. That we are going to have a debate about what the Surgeon General has been saying as well. All right, we're on that. In the meantime, Alvarez failed at solving the county's problems, like a health care system with more than $200 million worth of debt. Almost half of the property owners there are underwater, and they have a 15% unemployment rate in Miami. Judge Andrew, some stories developing right now in America's newsroom. A car bomb in northern Iraq killing three people and wounding another 18. The attack seemed to be targeting a local government official. And new reports that the U.S. is expanding its role in Mexico's drug war. A U.S. official saying the U.S. is now using unmanned aerial vehicles to gather intelligence on drug traffickers. And a Russian space capsule carrying three astronauts, including one American. Well, Libya is still on the brink as Gaddafi's better armed and organized military appears to be reversing the tide of change. Just over a week ago, the opposition seemed capable of bringing Gaddafi down, but today it's Gaddafi's supporters who are celebrating. They've bombarded the rebels with nonstop.